In the brand new 1.6 update for Stardew Valley, we now have four new house renovations that you could purchase from Robin. Today, we're gonna check them out, see what they look like, and actually find out what rooms they are. Do we get a bathroom? Do we get an attic? I have no idea. This is all new to me, but I do believe you have to pay for them now. I know some of the house renovations in the past were free, but I think they all come with a cost in this update. So just be aware of that. I'm excited to see what else we can do to our beautiful, wonderful homes. Just give me a bathroom, that's all I need. Make it make sense, you know? What's a family doing, just pooping all over the floor? No, at least build an outhouse, you know? <laughs> Every farm needs an outhouse. So all you need to do is come to Robin and go over to the house renovations tab. This is where in the past you could build cribs, create the open bedroom. You can even remove some rooms as well. But these are the new ones that we have to spend money on. The first being a dining room. This is 150,000 gold. Very, very expensive, but this is a large room to the left of the kitchen, which I think absolutely amazing. I can just think of all the storage and the chests I'm gonna put there, especially the new big ones. Then we have a cubby. This is only 10,000, but this is a little cubby next to the front door. Not too sure what that is, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be nice and cute. The next one being the attic, 60K. This is another staircase that goes up and a room at the top. Very, very exciting about that as well. Another great idea for a storage room. And the last one, we can now expand a corner room. So this will extend the corner room, adding a large new area. This is 100K. I'm gonna start off 150K. It's a good job I've got the money on my end game farm. Let's build a dining room. Oh my God. Okay, we need to remove the chests. That ain't gonna work yet. Let's maybe do the cubby first. And there we go. A nice little area at the front. I like that. Let's build the attic. Can we actually get this? Oh, we've also got to remove those ones. Okay, okay. I wish it automatically did it. And can we expand the corner room? Or am I going to have to also move? Oh, wow, that is a large room. The dining room was even bigger, by the way. Let's get back and remove the things. Guys, this is insane. Your house can now look amazing. We can finally add the attic. I love that. It looks so nice. And lastly, we can do the dining room, the biggest one. Oh my God, that is so big. What am I gonna do with that space? Well, the kids certainly love it here. <laughs> so to go with your new house and your new rooms, there is new decoration, new furniture. Watchers don't do, and do us don't. And these are some of those decorations and new furniture that you can expect to see. I've decorated the dining room. I love this, you even get like light switches and little like sockets. I think it's so simple, but so cool. I think it's absolutely beautiful. There might be a few more that I've not shown and seen, so I'll let you discover that yourself. This is just a few new things that I've noticed myself and I thought I'd put down in the room. I love the fact that we've got a dining room. I don't even need this big table anymore. Maybe this can just be a big open kitchen put loads of chests in there this is the little cubby area it's quite dark now but I've just put the phone there uh, this is if I have a cat eventually I might get a cat now that now that you can have more than one pet 
And uh, yeah, this is a little perfect place for that. You can even get wall dividers and floor dividers to create your own rooms, which is kind of cool. And of course, the attic. Nothing in here now, but there is a new decoration piece, which is a ladder. So it looks like you can get right to the roof or something. I quite like that. But this will be a great storage room right on top. And we still have the big room here to the right of this one. This is basically now extended. I actually have no idea what to do with this. I wish there was some bathroom furniture, because then maybe you could have created a bathroom. But wow, you can literally have massive houses now, designed to your heart's content. So much space. I think it looks absolutely incredible. They're probably noticing, if you're a veteran of the channel, that my spouse's room, aka Jody, is gone, it's disappeared. That's because I've disabled all mods. Marrying Jody is actually a mod that you need. I don't want to break the game or lose my save, so I've had to uninstall it. So that means Jody is no longer with me. But I still have the kids, so maybe we'll get her back eventually. It's sad to not see any updates or changes with the kids. I know the pet's got them and uh, obviously the house, but nothing to do with the kids has changed. They don't grow up. There's no dialogue, no portrait. They do the same thing. Uh, looks like they've not been revamped and it's just going to stay the same, I think. That's how it's going to be for the kids. I don't think we'll ever in Stardew Valley get a change for kids, I'm afraid. This is how it's going to be now. But that is this video, guys. House renovations, four new extra rooms that you can add to your home, expanding rooms and complete new ones, which is going to be amazing for decorating, creating awesome rooms, having a family and creating lots of storage rooms as well. The next video is going to be showing off the brand new festivals. I think there is three or maybe four in total. So stick around for that one. Subscribe. We'll eventually get for everything, guys, but there's so much. Thank you all for your support. Stay safe and stay cozy.